Well, the mold problem, which forced the closure of Upper Perkiomen High School, has parents and students both frustrated and concerned. Tonight, the district gave us an update on the mold issue. Eyewitness News reporter David Spun has more on the questions that still remain, including when classes will resume. The meeting began with the elephant in the room, mold. Our first priority is to ensure the health and safety of our students and staff. Anxious parents and students sat in the crowd at the Upper Perkiomen School Board meeting to learn about the mold that closed the district high school this week. It's not healthy at all. I'm sick. My sister is very sick. We both have asthma. Ravana Fisher is an Upper Perkiomen senior and came out to hear from district leaders and mold experts. Over the summer, cleaning crews discovered mold but quickly began to remedy the problem before students returned. But workers discovered mold inside the building after the last few weeks, and students complained of getting sick. It's concerning, but I, I think they're doing what they can to get things cleaned up. I'm just concerned that we weren't aware of what happened in the summertime until last week. At Thursday's meeting, Superintendent Dr. Alexis McGloin introduced a mold inspector to update parents and students. We're trying to come up with a the proper mix of getting everything on a maintenance schedule so this way you don't have this issue pop up in the future. The inspector told board members the HVAC system was not properly maintained for several years. Combine that with a 50 year old building and a humid summer and you get mold. This is my seventh school district in the last five weeks. According to the mold cleaning company, the initial testing has come back to show the cleaning is working and levels are going down. As for the kind of mold, more tests need to be back before that can be determined. Moving forward, each classroom at the high school will have a dehumidifier. Cleaning will continue tomorrow, Saturday, with school opening on Monday. In Pennsburg, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.